attacked. I got sued? I got sued by modding? Illegal modding? What? Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is, um, this is very sad news. Take-Two Games, the publisher of GTA 5, has officially banned GTA 5 mods. Uh, not just GTA 5 mods, I need to be a little bit more clear, but they've banned mods from all their games. If you don't know Take-Two, Take-Two are the publishers of Rockstar Games, which is like all the GTA games, Red Dead Redemption, and 2K. 2K, you know, they make all these other games, like sports games and stuff. I know all of you who are watching right now, first of all, love GTA, all right? Uh, I'm pretty sure GTA is like maybe in the top five or maybe in the top three of almost everyone's favorite game. For me, it's like the first spot. And why? There's two reasons for that, okay? Number one, it's just, you know, an overall good game. The second one is mods. If a publisher takes the second one away, it's definitely not one of my favorite games anymore. You know, then it maybe, you know, goes down to like 10th place. I don't know. And that's what's happened. Take Two Interactive, the publisher of GTA 5, have banned GTA 5 mods. Now, you might be like, you know, who gives a F? You know, <laughs> well, I care. Mods are freaking awesome. They do no harm to a game. Sure, if, you know, if people mod online and, like, they hack money online and they, you know, blow people up online, that really needs to go. And Rockstar should maybe, you know, put something in a system so that stuff's not allowed anymore or it's impossible. But offline modding does no harm. In fact, offline mods is the only way to keep your game fun once you've, once you've completed the story mode. And that's the honest truth right there. I'm sorry. Your game's boring without them. Just... Just saying. I mean, look at this, right? People, real life people, they put Liberty City, the GTA 4 map in GTA 5. I mean, look, you're driving on the bridge now. Oh my goodness, that looks freaking awesome. It's not just that, you know? They've even made your game look better. Look at this stuff. Look at this car. Oh my God, the graphics are insane. Look at this Ferrari. I mean, there's no Ferrari in GTA. There's no Porsche in GTA. If I'd like that car to be there, I, you know, I'd like to put it in, you know? At the end of the day, I am spending $60 or, you know, you know, however much he bought the game for on the game and then I own it, right? I can do whatever I want with it when I own it. But now they've made it illegal to even create or use these mods. Meaning that that 60 bucks I spent is for me not even worth it anymore. And the real big reason is, you know, why, why would they delete GTA 5 mods? It's, it's a simple answer. And that's the money. <laughs> Yo neighbor, do you like money? I didn't hear him, but I'm pretty sure he likes money. Everyone likes money, all right? Some of them like it more than others. But take two, you're greedy. I looked up how much money your game made. The game has sold around 7 million copies, and it has made more than 3 billion, <clears throat> billion dollars. Do you know how much zeros a billion is? Me neither. Let's look it up. Billion. Let me spell it. One, two, three. Nine zeros. Nine. Three billion dollars is so much money, you could run a freaking country with that. I'm pretty sure. I'm not, you know, I can't confirm that, but that, that, it's a lot of money. Now, you might be asking yourselves, well, you know, they're only banning mods. How would this make them more money? It's easy, guys. The only reason people still play offline GTA, which, by the way, they don't update that. They never released any, like, offline or, or story mode DLCs. Why? Because they don't make money off it. The only way to keep offline interesting is using mods. If they stop making offline interesting, more people will switch to their online version of the game, GT Online, great invention, which will then make them shit tons of dollars. Why? You might be asking, because every update they release, Rockstar Games, you know, they release the updates, they are uh, <clears throat> shitty expensive. In fact, they're so expensive, I wanted to look up how much money I spend on their game in the last three years. So I went through my Steam profile, I clicked that transactions, and, you know, looked at my history there. I counted over a thousand dollars spent on just shark cards. You know what shark cards are? You can buy a shark card for around $80, you'll get $8 million online cash. All right. Now with the money, you know, you can buy a private jet. Actually, I think that one costs 10 million. It's like a hundred dollars. What? It's, it's in a game. Every DLC they release, they release some new cars or like an apartment or like a bunker. And they're all like two, three, four million dollars each, right? That's like 30 or $40 
per thing. Real dollars. Now, I love GTA 5. I'm not hating on Rockstar Games because... Rockstar Games probably didn't even come up with this. It's Take-Two, their publisher, who wants to make more money. They are like knocking on Rockstar's door and being like, Hey, we want more money and we're gonna make sure that happens. Screw you, Rockstar. We're gonna ruin your game. Because that's technically what they're doing. I know you, you guys love mods. I mean, I, I, I just looked up at, uh, you know, Jelly GTA 5 mods on YouTube. We got it one seven months ago. 1.3 million views. We got one here. 400,000. 700,000. You know, 600. 7.5 million. That's so much views. Look at those likes, 70,000 likes almost. I know for a fact that you guys love mods. And unfortunately, because of this new stupid like rule they made, there will no longer be any GTA 5 mods. And that's probably the saddest thing in the last couple of years that's happened like regarding GTA. You know, like, you know, uh, delaying Red Dead Redemption 2 was kind of sad, uh, that kind of stuff. But getting rid of mods, Really? It's just stupid. I think it's greedy. I, I, I just think it's really greedy. I know for a fact that you guys are not used to these type of rant videos, but I really wanted to get it out there. I wanted to spread the word that Take-Two is being greedy, all right? If you, if you guys from Take-Two are watching this right now, I'm sorry, it's just the honest truth. Rockstar Games, I freaking love you. Let's not blame Rockstar for this, because I know for a fact that Rockstar likes some, some mods out there. You know, they, they hate the online ones, all right? They hate the online ones, and so do I. It should not be possible to like hack your money online or blow other people up with just a click on a button online you know those mods should be banned ban those let us the people who are doing no harm to the game or in fact even making it better have some fun you know we bought your game for 60 bucks i mean look at this look at this ultra realistic graphics mod doesn't that look freaking insane we the people who purchased your game take two made your game look even better you're gonna do that yourself no! So how about you sit back and, uh, you know, put those mods back? It's a real shame this all happened, guys. And I hope, I really hope that they, uh, you know, change this rule. I think with enough negative publicity, Take-Two will take action and they will, you know, do something in our favor. I mean, have you seen, uh, what's happened on Steam? 48,000 negative reviews on GTA 5. There's legit so much people talking about Take-Two, blah, 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 Take-Two. Blah, blah, blah. People are doing thumbs down on GTA, which means the sales go down, by the way. And if the sales go down, they stop making more money. And that was the whole purpose of this GTA 5 mods thing, to make more money. And now if we make sure that they don't make a lot of money, maybe we'll put them back up. You know, you never know. All right, guys, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry for this rant video. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind it. I just really wanted to spread the word and, you know, make sure you guys know what's going on. It's kind of like a behind the scenes thing. I would never really make a video about this, but this is kind of just saying goodbye to the mods you know this is my way to say goodbye i'm angry and i think it's stupid but mods you are freaking amazing if you guys want to i could make a mods compilation video leave a like on this video if you want to see a mod compilations video because this is the the last video i'll ever i'll ever make about mods maybe apart from the compilation then <laughs> i am now going to go take a shower and cry and hope my skin turns out like grandma skin because i'm gonna be in that shower for hours thanks for watching it may take two Think again, because we want those mods back, Take-Two. We love you. Uh, we love your game. We hate you. Bye. Bye. I need to open my eyes before I walk into a wall.